Hello everyone, and welcome to the Cookley Bushcraft channel. Okay, so I've recently uh, acquired this. So this is a knife I've been after and looking for for a very long time. Uh, they're easy to find, but they're expensive. Far too expensive for me, so I've got a beaten up old one that I've started to restore. And uh, yeah. It's a Tommy Poco, uh, and it's named after an English guy, like me, who lived in Finland, like me. Uh, his name was Thomas Woodward, and uh, yeah, there's a little story behind it. There was a young knife maker called Kale uh, Karanen, who uh, lived in Kainu. He, uh, he moved to Fiskars. Uh, in the 1860s where he met Thomas Woodward and Thomas Woodward taught him uh, a few techniques to do with uh, uh, brass casting and steel hardening and a few other little bits and pieces like that uh, so he went back home to uh, Salmi I'll be pronouncing that wrong he went back home to Kainu uh, <laughs> that's his region and uh, started producing knives that looked a lot like this and named them after Tommy uh, right so uh, uh, the, the knife was also made famous by a president of Finland Urhu uh, Kekkonen is that right <laughs> Who used to give them away to various politicians, heads and heads of state. Uh, as if I've got a mi bit mixed up with any of my facts, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, these uh, they typically have a rhombic shape, so they taper towards the spine. Uh, high grind, barrel shaped hand handles. Uh, quite often asymmetrical, which this one is a little. And when I say asymmetrical, by the way, I mean from front to back. Uh, what I mean is it has a slight teardrop shape, which helps you to uh, feel which side the cutting edge is on. Uh, I don't mean simply that one side is thicker than the other, because that would be just silly. And, uh, and also with these uh, nice little brass fittings on the pommel. Uh, the sheaths are very ornate. Most of them have got a red patch here, not all of them. And uh, yeah, look at that dangler. Look what they've done there. That's also quite typical. Uh, yeah. So, I also have recently got <laughs> a very, very cheap copy. <laughs> so, I'm. Um, this is something that I wanted to test out. I first saw these in a shop in Rovaniemi. I nearly bought one then. Uh, but I recently got this on online. <laughs> I'll do another video about this. First I want to I want to see as if it's junk or not. Uh, it's, it's a nice shape. It's a nice blade profile. Nice handle. Uh, I don't trust the steel. I don't trust the tang. Uh, yeah, that screw there, I don't know as if that's on the end of the tang, but I'd presume it's just holding that end cap on. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure about that. I think that's something Chinese that's been made for the Finnish market. But yeah, I'll be testing that out. And as for this thing, pretty chuffed with that. <laughs> yeah, so the, hang the handle, I've done a little bit of work on and the sheath uh, so all I've done there was some scratches in the uh, in the finish 
I just touched it up with a little bit of a little bit of pine tar and I rubbed a bit of waxing over the top. Uh, also the same on the sheath. I've used leather wax on all the bits that were scuffed. It already looks a lot better. Uh, I'll take some of the scratches out of the edge and maybe polish that up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, the main manufacturer of these at the moment, they still make them in Kainu. Uh, uh, the main manufacturer is Kainu Poco. Uh, there's various other people still making Tommy Pocos. And uh, I would recommend that as if you want one, you save up and buy an original. I wouldn't really recommend something like this. I think as if you want a small, as if you want a small utility knife in a Poco style, I'd go for a more, a more a classic or something over this. But yeah, I'm going to test this out and maybe, just maybe, I'll change my mind. Okay, well... Thank you very much for watching everybody, uh, please give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment and I'll see you all again soon for another Kukali Bushcraft video. Bye for now.